So today, on this 2007 Civic, I'm going to be replacing the rotors because uh, the guy, um, my um, brother-in-law requests to have it done. So I'm going to replace the rotor and the brake pads, even though it doesn't exactly need it. But I'm going to be doing it at his request. And then... And then over here, I'm going to be replacing the brake shoes. So, on the brake shoes, the first thing I did is when I removed this uh, drum here, it was kind of like tight. So, I used a screw like this. I used a screw like this to, to put in the holes. And then I used this to, to loosen it. To loosen it. See, it loosened with the screw in it, and when I tighten it, and then it came off. Evidently, it came off with ease. So, so to remove this caliper, typically I would remove the caliper first, but I may not need to do that. I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take these bolts off to basically remove the whole assembly here so I could remove the rotor. That's all. It's two bolts. There's one right here and one on the back. And it's a 17 millimeter. So I'm gonna remove them now. They don't, they don't, they don't give me a fight whatsoever to remove. Usually they don't give a fight to remove, so. I removed on the top too, so. Okay, so after having done that, it comes off really easy. And okay, to remove this, you will need you will need a a 12 millimeter ratchet or wrench, and then usually you could use a hammer to loosen it a little bit. But they, they don't you they don't give a fight. They rarely give a fight. They, it's not often that they give a fight to remove anyway, so remove the caliper first. And once the caliper is off once the caliper is off, then you can loosen these. This is a seventeen millimeter. It's a seven seventeen. Using my hands only, I just pushed it really hard with my hands and then I twisted this. That's gonna be done on the boat. That's the first thing that I do in the rear brakes. I do the, one of these to help me twist it. Gotta be careful with that dust there. That best asbestos. Careful that dust. Okay. Be careful that dust. Probably a good idea to uh, vacuum it or something. So, taking it off. And all the, you know, it's just all it starts falling apart. And then, you know, see this is when 
If you forget where some parts go, you could take a picture of it first before you do the brakes. Or, or you could just look on the other side to see where the parts go. Like that one, but this is like mirror. This is a mirror of the other side. Though, because uh, for an example, on the other side, the spring will be here on this side here. It's a mirror. So, and then while I'm out of here, I'll be using the brake cleaner to clean it out. To remove this little horseshoe shaped part here. What I did is I used I used a big screwdriver, a large screwdriver, and I just kind of like um, I'll show you right now. I actually like uh, put this part like against here, against here, and then I just went like this. I just used leverage to help doing that to help loosen it, or I went like this too with a large screwdriver and then once it gets far enough there I used a smaller screwdriver to help me get the rest of it out like twisting it and stuff yeah This is hard. Having a hard time. Getting harder to get the other. So what we did here is keep the other one open for reference. Can get tricky. Yeah. Use a screwdriver. Yeah. There we go. Alright. There we go. I don't know. Yeah. It's a wheel cylinder. It's hard. Okay. And then it came off. There's going to put this back on here. Let's just put the, the gasket wheel. back on. Yeah, that's the wheel. It came off, but. Not supposed to do that. But That's not supposed to come off. No, I just that's no big deal. So, okay, this part. All apart. All apart now. Now I just gotta take this horseshoe part off. Yeah. I did it this way. A lot of prying with the screwdriver. Yeah, it's a fight, but I think it'll fight a little. You need a third one? Yeah, it's coming Just off. use that and pry it off. There you go. And it's off. Now to put the. And then there's a washer here. There you go, finally. Now I can put the new one on. Horseshoe part. I just uh, that's easy to at least this one's easier to put it on than to take it off. I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. You got it. Here's this. There you go. It's easier. Easier. That was, yeah. That was like. <laughs> but since I did the other side already, it'll be easier for me to do this side. Yeah. Because generally, you know, like we, um, you learn. Well, I gotta put the lubricant on this first. Should you clean it first? 
Oh yeah. Oh well, yeah. Clean it. Clean all the back of it. I'll show it. Uh, nice and looped up. Yeah. Dry it up. It dries up quick. I mean, it's made for that. Evidently. All the contact points. Buy you know, it might get. Here we go. The puzzle starts. Yeah. I'm telling you. And this part. Okay. Can you zoom in for this? And all the. And then after I put these on, I'm gonna lose the leaves. You see? I mean, I'm gonna clean these up. Huh? Side, so. Okay, so put the spring in my bob with the wrench in my bob. You should you should give a name to everything, <laughs> even though um, it might not be the right name. Yeah, part well, name. A little, that uh, not the brake shoe uh, apparatus <laughs> to yeah. the spring spring yeah, builder this, module. Well, this part right here is actually uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like it's a, it's an adjuster. I would call it. For uh, I don't even really know these. Brake shoe yeah. with adjuster? Well, yeah. It's like, I wouldn't. Snu a snu I don't know snugger. What's the real name it's, of it's it. It's a snugger. Yeah. The brake shoe snugger? Yeah. I'm telling. <sighs> the spring? Not even funny. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. There's one. So this part goes here. See, this is sort of the tricky because you have to just hold parts and. If we have the spring tools, then it would be easier, but... This is being done without any spring tools? Like one of those, what they call, break tent spring. Spring is what... If we have the spring tools, then it would be easier, but... This is being done without any spring tools? Like one of those, what they call, Brake tensioner or what is it? Uh, brake tensioner? Yeah, see, that's what makes it hard. See, when this, everything starts falling apart. You need a third hand? Yeah, no, no I'm thinking. No, I think I should. See, this thing, it always does that. That's the way it is. You gotta make sure everything is still in place. Yeah. Easier when that one is on there. Yeah. Yeah. You're not holding two things at once. I'm gonna go. Actually, I have a better. The camera. I'm gonna show the camera what I did to put this clip in easy. I just push this shoe out as far as I can, and then this uh, clip goes get went in that way. It goes like that, see? And then I, I did that, I just pushed it out of the way as much as I can. And then I just put it in. But the spring in there already and all the tensioner in there. I just put the clip in there. Like that. 
and then I just shoo. There you go, and that's what I did. And then this spring here, it goes right here on the tensioner adjuster, I guess it's called. And then I just use this screwdriver or a brake tool. And I got it in there. There we go. Then the and then this spring goes down here. I just take the shoes out and I just go like this. That's the easier way to do it. And then once it's in there, then I just get the shoes out there. And just the shoes. And then, there we go. It's done now. And now all I gotta do is just get the well, first of all, I'm gonna clean it. Try not to get the lubricant, though. Pretty much the last thing to do is just make sure it's snug. The yeah. draw. The... See, right now it's too loose, so I have to adjust this part, the where the little thingy is, like the wheel crank. Yeah, I have to adjust these. Yeah. This. After this is what I gotta do to expand it. And you can hear the clicking when I'm adjusting it. So I'm just gonna adjust it until the drum goes in snug. Like not tight or not in tight, but just somewhat, somewhat snug. I mean not snug to the point where it's done like where it's gonna drag but just snug to the point where the where the drum fits nicely like where it's not loose not to where it starts breaking or it starts um, holding on to it. yeah see now it's pretty snug now yeah well, maybe I have to adjust it a little bit more just a little bit more But if I tightened it too tight by any chance, then I have to just go the other way. But I have to hold on to this to loosen it a little bit. Yeah, if I tightened it too tight, mm. I just have to hold on to this and loosen it going the other way. But it's not too tight yet, so. Snug now, like it's just right now. Okay, and that's it. It's done. Hey.